Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 of Microsoft Defender ATP and today we will be discussing about Attack Surface Reduction. So just to give an overview, Attack Surface Reduction also known as ASR has few components, something like Attack Surface Reduction Rules which is basically a set of rules that re reduces the attack surfaces and network protection which basically extends the protection to network traffic and connectivity on organization's devices. Then we have hardware based isolation which protects and maintains the integrity of a system as it starts and while it's running. And then we have web protection and the web protection secure devices against the common web threats and help regulate unwanted content. After that we have application control which must so application control is, is in works in such a way that it every application must earn its trust so that it can be allowed so that's application control and then we have control folder access so in control folder access it basically prevents malicious apps like ransomware or any other threats uh, from making changes to files to the key system folders so, and then we have exploit protection which helps protecting the operating system and apps uh, from being exploited from any threats and then the last one is the network firewall which basically prevents unauthorized traffic in and out of the system now for this let's look at the attack surface reduction rules attack surface reduction rule is like um, uh, uh, let's say you have a computer and then it's a layered approach or a set of rules that protects the computer and reducing the attack surfaces and there are basically few categories that, that ASR rules are for one is the email and webmail you have Microsoft Office then executable scripts device control third-party apps Windows credential and Windows management interface which is the WMI so for each category you have a set of ASR rules that is available and that you can configure to reduce the attack surface. Now the golden rule not just this one but you know, as I always say you have a pilot system you test it but in ASR from my experience the golden rule is always enable audit mode first. So as you can see on my screen there is a set of rules. you start with an audit mode because not all unfortunately not all line of business applications are security focused not every application that we have in our company might be security focused might not be you know using the best practices what is available in the market now so it's better not to break your running production systems start with an audit mode and once you get into audit mode then I will show you few options and techniques on using advanced hunting rules to find out where these ASR rules are triggered and from there you investigate and find out if it's an allowed application is it something that you think that the, dev, the office the environment is using or needs to be used and based on that it needs to be whitelisted or you know then you know your pattern within your infrastructure and that's how you go and the key thing of attack surface reduction rules is patience I'm telling you again I cannot I cannot tell you more than this like patience you need to be on audit mode take your time make sure your environment is learned properly you get this right whitelist up everything is done otherwise you might end up breaking your systems locking out your systems so audit mode patience check all your logs and once you are happy then you go into block mode and then another tip is don't i know it's a, it's a time consuming thing that you know it it takes time to have your whole asr rules in place but do it one by one see or do it in batches a small set of rules or one or two rules see how it goes audit it find the results tweak it accordingly and then block mode same thing do a pilot version first 
start with somebody in your IT team, test it out, see how it goes, audit mode again, fix, block, and then you expand it. And eventually, you will get to the best possible security options available. Now let's look at a few things in action. So let's look, go to the demo of uh, attack surface reduction rules. So here's our Defender Security Center. Uh, I will also open endpoint.microsoft.com. This is where all the rules and policies that we create with the new endpoint portal. And I have shown you in the initial videos, you go to endpoint security and then you have your attack surface reduction policies here. Now, there are a few approaches that people usually do is like one having some security baselines where they have a set of things. So I would like to do from scratch. I would like to test each policy, see how it goes and then do not just ASR, but for anything rather than going for a baseline. Yes, you have a baseline which will give you a standard set of things. But, you know, even Microsoft suggests any rules, especially ASR, it depends on your organization. Every organization is different. So it depends on a tailored way of doing it for your organization. So my start point, usually what I do is go to the security recommendation. And then recently they announced a nice decent filter, which is basically you can filter attack surface reductions and then click apply. With your current machine scans, it actually already giving you a set of recommendations that you need to do and then you know, it scores based on the weakness. One good approach to start with is if you have any specific recommendation which has known active alerts or a known public exploit. That could be a good start if you if you want to, you know, prioritize which one you want to do. That is something that you want to give immediate attention to when you take care of security recommendations. In this case, we don't have anything of that kind, but in a sense, so what you do is you select and then say this is so you don't need to look at where to start. Look at security recommendations and then you can see what to apply. You take one of them and you know it's JavaScript, block JavaScript. You go to attack surface reduction policy and then click on the properties, edit the configuration setting and look for the setting. You can see here. And then say block JavaScript or VB script from launching download executable content. So let's search for that. So there are, there you go. There are a few similar worded things. So you need to figure out JavaScript here. And you set the audit mode and then find out what causes if there is a problem and then block mode as i mentioned i'm i'm telling you several times because it actually could break your system so be very careful about this and always start with audit mode now once you have it enabled on audit mode how do you know what's happening which is what we need the advanced hunting process advanced hunting has, is an amazing tool that you could use for a lot of things there are so many github sites which talks about advanced handling scripts which probably i'll i will add it to the descriptions on the video but basically i have one asr query which is a very simple thing it all says is device events where action type starts with asr you run the query you should get the results so to get the results what i did was i enabled few demo files from uh, different atp to trigger the asr rules so you can look at the timestamp, look at the device ID, and from here, you will know the folder path. Now let's consider this as an actual business application that you use. And then you could see the path from there, you can investigate those details. And then once you understand that this is something is related to an active used application, which is genuine, then you add exclusions on your SR rules which is basically here you you can add 
is just the path the folder path and then ASR will exclude it from those kind of triggers and scanning so that's one way of looking at it and then there is something called LSS exe which actually finds out uh, I would probably what I'll do is I will add these queries on on the description so that you know you have a starting point and then from there you can explore further and then tweak all your policies so this is a general idea of attack surface reduction rules stay tuned for more videos um, I hope you are enjoying these videos please share your feedback if you have if you want to see anything specific or if you have any questions feel free to add your comments there and I hope you like this video thank you so much for your time take care and stay safe bye